and welcome back. This is Full House, and I am Ross, and this is also Twinston. This is the, the test recording, right? Well, it is now. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I'm Dr. Euthanasia. I'm Walker Graham. And I'm a Thalius! You're not actually falling asleep, are you, Grant? No. Okay, good. Well, I'm surprised that Grant is capable of legitimately falling asleep in the middle of something like this. Hey, don't, like I, being so I, tired that it wouldn't matter. I was so the tired that I forgot to double check the recording last time Can we did this, so the uh, up there that's why there was a delay. Oh, well, hush up. We got a cutscene. Yes, this is Twinson's on the Odyssey. Right. And that's a portrait of Sendel, our benevolent goddess who breathes life into everything. You will get the feeling you're missing out because this is a sequel to a game with direct continuity. Thanks I will let Twinson introduce himself. I was able to save our beautiful planet, Twin. Magical power. I had to investigate all the islands to save oh, Zoe Cyrus. and prevent our world from being destroyed. <laughs> We've never played the first game either. Yep. Even as kids, when I got the this game. The dictator Funfrock had the entire planet in his grip. I I never saw this game until like what four weeks ago. Yep. Yeah, I I, I booted up the ROM and I was like, you know, this would make an interesting preseason, even if we don't make a full season out of it. No, no, it was even before we did Full House that you showed me this. Oh yeah, you're right. And it was just you wanted to show it to me because we were talking about things from our childhood, and you started showing it to me. And my first reaction was, "This seems like it came straight out of my childhood. <laughs> it's so fucking '90s." Just kind of bizarre to me. Yeah, I think that's kind of the, point. the the fun fact: uh, Adeline Software that made this pretty much has made nothing else but Twinson and a bunch of other games that have no renown whatsoever. I think one of them was like a a motocross game or something. They're like a French studio. See, you'll go and look it up and find out they became like Arcane Studios. You'll just like, oh my god, what happened? No, I, I looked it up, but they didn't become anything. They used the name to make like a Game Boy Advance game like 10 years later, but it had nothing to do with the original team. So it's like, so far as I can tell, they just made the Twinsons. Or rather, Little Big Adventure 1 and 2. Yeah. I guess there's no dialogue going on, so I'll go, I'll go into this. Twinsons pretty remarkable by the fact that it was a very early adventure game and is it half in full 3D and half in isometric pre-rendered 3D. And I think the pre-rendered stuff actually stands up much better than the early 3D stuff. Which kind of makes me sad that no one does these kind of pre-rendered games anymore. Yeah, that said, it's still an old adventure game, so expect a lot of, like, you need to get this random junk to proceed. And you have no idea where it is or why it's important. Yeah, well, to the moment someone asks. Well, Twin kind of stands out because it's an adventure game where you can do just about everything you can do in any game ever. There's combat, there's puzzle solving, there's art, there's role playing, there's talking to people, making choices. There's like a little bit of everything, and it's like <laughs> it is protozoan stages in gaming. So it was a pretty, I guess, must have been a pretty uh, groundbreaking game back in. I don't even know when this was made. Like what? 95? Maybe? It was made when DOS was still a major thing. Yeah, I'm running it in DOSBox. That's the, why the uh, the resolution is what it is. I'm going with 1996. But someone should Twinson, go look that up. Rush I'll to the downtown pharmacy and find a cure know. for Dino Fly. He's just crashed in the garden so and looks injured. The thing I have to say is that I really love the music in this game. I love the animation. <laughs> Everything about this game is pretty kooky. Like, I can't say I love everything about the sound design in this game because you'll you'll see why soon enough. How about right now? Just... 
Oh, but they haven't even heard the magic ball yet. The magic ball. They're going to. When you wear your yeah. ancestral tomb, yeah, look, at his, look at his look at his I got an item pose. Like, what is he doing? My favorite part of this <laughs> is exercise is right at the end. Right at the you end when he wins, when he holiday. succeeds, Jesus. he does this animation in a pre-rendered cutscene. Which makes me think that he's not just doing that you because the animators are weird months. and that's what they think celebrating looks like. He just does that in the world and everyone else finds it weird. <laughs> yeah. The funny part is... For a second there, I didn't even realize you were playing the game. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the demo. I thought it was demo. just a demo. God damn it. So we get out of my way. Speak oh, speaking of which, Twinson is actually really remarkable to me in that it's the only game I've ever played where I start the game playing not as a grizzled, like, 30-something space marine and or action I'm hero and or it just landed behind the house. badass. Don't or, forget, that you can don't forget the, the androgynous JRPG, man. That, that too. But No, you start this game as a married man who's expecting a child yeah, and, it's, and it's, it has already yeah. saved the world. But doing, more, more importantly, buddy? his wife does not get captured by the bad guy and his baby oh, does not get captured by the ball. bad guy, and his wife, I'm while pregnant, pregnant helps you more than most other supporting characters will in any other game. Yeah. Oh, and also... In other words... <laughs> we'll go on. In other words, somehow the entire planet that they live on is hyper-confident enough that when it's threatened, Nobody really gets in the way. Yeah, except those <laughs> bastards of the magic guild. Those con men. We'll get to that soon. Oh, yeah, by the way, his planet, it's named Twin Sun. Yes, Twin Sen lives on Twin Sun and is giving birth to a... Or rather, is, his wife is having a son who they'll presumably name Twin oh, Sun. Wait. Or Twin's son. Or they'll have twins. One of them named Sun and one of them named Sen. I'm looking for something to cure my injured dino See, it would be genius Sorry, if Twin Sun, the planet, was actually somehow in between two suns. Oh, God. <laughs> then and do action. You would think that might make some sense. You can but, um... Oh, boy. This. Time for justice. Oh, okay, actually. Hell yeah! Before I get into this, this game has. The, the, oh, I hate that kid! Perfect time just to showcase this game's uh, stance system. So, rather than most games, you simply have a move and other action keys, this game gives you stances. You've got normal, sporty, aggressive, and discreet. Now, Normal is completely useless, and there is no reason for anyone to ever go into normal. It's slower than, than sporty, and it has no special function. Sporty is simply going fast, and allows you to jump as a special action. And other than that, no downside. So you're always in sporty. Aggressive is slower than sporty, but special action is this badass punch, which allows you to punch stupid kids off of rooftops when they hit you with slingshots as you run by and cause actual health damage. I would not consider the decrease in speed to be much of a disadvantage, given how it's like a belligerent drunk swaggering yeah. around pretty much. Like, look at the way he walks. Like, this is a judgment. Like running. His judgment is clearly impaired. Oh god! Oh, oh god! Oh, I was crap. so scary. I scared away the guy. And finally, there's the screen. <laughs> oh, it. What the heck? <laughs> would you want to mess with Twinson? Discreet is the slowest and most tedious movement mode in the game. Thankfully, this can be bypassed in a way I will show you when an actual enemy shows up. Um, other than that, it's, You're gonna need it. its only special function is the fact that when he throws the ball, it goes up in a strange arc. So it allows you to throw it over obstacles. Okay, let's hope that guy's back. I wasn't screwed. Hello. Can't talk to him. Could you help me treat my injured dino fly? like this. You know, this voice is really quiet. Give me a brief moment to turn them back up. Could you help me treat my injured dino fly? Oh no! 
no fly? Okay. You fool. You know, now it's time to demonstrate the, uh, the, the true flaw in the stealth system, I say with the utmost sarcasm. Couldn't you just go up there to get him? No, there... No, you gotta sneak up on There him. is a dodge option in the game that allows you to sidestep range attacks. Uh, it also works forward. It also goes a hundred times faster than any other system in the game. So I can essentially <laughs> pelvic thrust my way to like this me. guy. <laughs> the umbrella, please. But, 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 knock you out. Oh. Excuse me, I, I thought it was mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I, I, I keep How is that a mistake? He reached into that thing, he took that umbrella, when clearly he wasn't even in the store, and when she looked at him like, hey, it's my umbrella, he went, oh, she's in it, it's the cops, and booked it out of there. I was imagining he ran away from you twice. Yeah, why would he even have a motive to run away from me if it was just a mistake? And See, the funny it. part is... Hello, miss. It feels Hello, like Mr. that was Trinity. the teach you the discreet I'd like stance. To take the kids to it the was. Flower so, garden, but by the teach you, you mean bad. the game will tell you nothing about it, and you have to figure it out on your own. So, um, yeah, most games wouldn't allow you to do this either. Brute. Beaten up orphan Ooh. children. I'll tell this my may seem brother, and he'll beat you up unnecessarily like cruel, That'll but don't worry, you. it has a purpose. Oh, my big brother's gonna take care of you. Let's just say that karma has a very fast not here, track not at all. getting back. And my at big you. brother, he'll avenge me. Mm. Hi, kiddo. Oh, hey, Twinsen. <laughs> Did you check out my essay on the future plans? Here, and I will summarize. Phase one, grow up. Phase two, become a sailor. And phase three, buy a million umbrellas for my brother. What's he need him for? Aside from kicking my ass in three seconds. La 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 la. Well, you blew it before I did. <laughs> Don't worry. What did I mean by that? Oh no, it's the big brothers. All of them in a line. No, 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 they no, get stuck. actual health damage. Yeah, they do actual health damage. They mess me up. They take me I to the cleaners for half my health. I just love that they're actually sitting up there waiting in a line. Like no. Clear order. You need to go finish the fight with that guy. He started it, well, technically you started it by beating up his little brother. You little bastard. You on my behalf on Desert Island. I work for him, and believe me, he knows tricks that would cure anything. Even a dino fly. <laughs> so, my actual purpose, the method to my madness there was to show basically that in old games like this, there is an upside. When stuff is this cheap to make, and this quick to make, in 3D and in 2D, it allows people to do stuff like that, where, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes effort can let them just throw in these big brothers that beat you, they beat the snot out of you, based on a minor action, just because it adds context and it's fun. And in a AAA game, that just doesn't happen anymore. That that kind of effort is like, I don't know, like a, a, a full business day of people working on these character models and animations and polishing everything to the utmost extent. It just doesn't happen. It's a really good argument for like why mid-tier games are a good idea. I choose to believe that Rozzy is just complaining that it isn't the 90s anymore. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to look <laughs> well, this bad. Yeah, we don't need another twin sin. I'm just saying, there's there's an argument to be made for games that have a, that actually go for like having less quality Ooh. stuff because they don't have to spend as much time on it, and thus they can make you more. Like graphics aren't everything. Hell, polish isn't everything. That's what I should be saying. You don't need voice acting. You don't need, you know, super high polish. Yeah, this had yeah. all voice act. That's actually a good point. I'm I'm amazed this game. Everyone is voice acted. Yeah, poorly, yeah. but still. I'd rather have poor voice acting than no voice acting, uh, in most cases anyway. Although I, I could still get behind a game like Final Fantasy that's all text-based. Those can still be great. But what about like Oblivion or Skyrim, where every single person of the same generic type is the same that, voice? That was my point. I'd rather have a bunch of subpar voice actors that you hired at, like, in a big group at some sort of low-end, like, theater company or something, than hiring the big-name actors to voice act 
I don't know, like eight of them to voice act a hundred people in a game, so everyone sounds the same. Yeah. Well, I think the main problem is when your budget gets blown up a significant amount, and when you start working with like millions instead of thousands, you start thinking you need to actually spend a million, or you're not using your budget the way you're supposed to. Well, right, but they, oh, they, oh, they oh, find yeah. ways to spend it on, on stuff that doesn't really, really matter. Like I said, I, I wouldn't want games to look this ugly, but there's a, there's a midpoint now where you don't have to, like, have all the detail in the world, you don't have to be Crisis, but at the same time, it just looks good, it doesn't have to look any better. Like, I'd say Bioshock Infinite's, uh, I don't know, it's still, still a AAA title, but it's, it's stylized, so they don't have to spend as much, to, you know, effort on no. things. There, there are some really strange exceptions, like Dark Souls is a very bizarre game that's, because it does not have the graphical prowess to show it, that's a much but it has one. so much detail. But it's got a graphical style, it doesn't need to have all the polygons and all the tech, it just has a good art style mm -hmm. and that's all it needs. It, it also has detail, like, um, good day, master. on the... Master. How do you the explain standard a helm, there's a dent season. on it that you can't really see because of the resolution being so poor. And on the, uh, the explorer's gear, each, each individual little gold bar on that vest, no, no, it was, a uh, King Jeremiah's coat. Each individual gold bar on that vest has a different symbol on it. Great, but... Okay, just interrupting you guys for a moment. So, what are we doing right now? Yeah, uh... You just want to talk to the weather wizard because it's a storm, and you have to actually talk to the guy about this, I don't think, but basically you can't go and use the ferry because there's a storm. So, you need to find the guy like pro who hex, owns the light. Like pro is hex sequence breaking! <laughs> You need to go and find the lighthouse keeper so that the weather wizard can get a good view. And then he can stop the storm so that you can take the ferry so you can go to some healer on the other island so that you can ask him how to cure your dino fly. And spoilers, he does not cure your dino He's fly. He's not there. You have to take his place. You have to learn how to magic just to... Just to cure your dino fly, just so you can go to a place. In fact, no, not even so you can go to a place, there's no reason to cure a dino fly as of yet. It's not exactly clear why you need him so very badly, other than the fact that he's your bud and he's been injured. Well, what, you don't want to take care of your buds? If I'm sitting here lying, no, it's, it's, it's <laughs> they're it's like bleeding out, you're telling me you would just sit there and let me die? No. Nope. Thanks, Rossi! All I'm saying is, I I wouldn't want to go find a, a wizard to learn magic to try and cure you with the, the magic cure, when I could just be like, oh, well, that doesn't work, I'll just go find some other way. See, why don't you reveal the real spoiler? You, you don't even learn magic! No, you don't. <laughs> By storing magic, it will enable you to bounce like, your ball you're getting this magic tunic? Beware my ball, enemies. I want to say right now, and probably until, you know, farther in the game, this is the most magic you're going to be seeing. <laughs> yeah, well, you want to talk about that now? Or gonna it, if this game makes no sense to you, those of you watching, like, you know, how does he know how to do this? Let me tell you, it's because I've already done everything else and got stuffed and like, what the hell do I do and talk to everybody? It's one of those games where there is no clear delineation of what to do next. So basically, you just have yeah, to you explore can, you... everything and talk to everything. Oh, speaking of which... Do you know where I can find Yeah, Laugh, you can talk to this cow. Keeper? Yeah, that's where I saw him <laughs> pass a while back. I mean, you he know, just in case you were wondering whether there were ethical issues about butchering animals that are sentient and capable of speech, yeah. Yeah, every animal. Then again, we don't know if it's just Twinson that can talk to the animals. <laughs> yeah, you never see anyone else in the game talking to animals, so it might just be him. And that might be magic, it might also be insanity. Because there isn't really a whole lot of magic in the Twinson setting. Yeah, here's the thing. Twinson himself has a magic tunic. He saved the world before. He knows the, the spirit of the planet, so he actually has magic. He can also find magic through the course of his adventures, but every single bit of actual magic is found in tombs, in like, lost civilizations, all the places you'd expect for magic to be, and that other games have totally forgotten where to put magic, not at a general store. And then there's the magic guild, the, the wizards. 
none of who actually do magic. The, the, the magic items they give you are laughably mundane. One of them is like a drinking straw and some peas. So, it's like... <laughs> Congratulations, you got an Etch-A-Sketch! <laughs> Well, you think he's joking? No, he's being he's being distressingly the, the best part for this to me is that Swenson is a hero who saved the planet. Most people don't even remember him or know that he did it. Well they built a statue to him in, in yeah. the, the town square, so at least on, on Twin Sun they they recognize he exists. Mm-hmm. You're forgetting the part where you go to the museum and a guy's like, Hey, you look like the guy in the picture. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> Have at the bats! I hate these enemies. I hate them so goddamn much. They're worse than Castlevania bats. Well, they're almost worse than Castlevania bats. I will never forget that bridge in Castlevania 4. <laughs> Surprise! The masonry? It's bats. Screw that bat. Yeah, so, um... Who would have thought to jump up there? That obviously broken ladder that looks like there's no way, way up other than fixing the ladder somehow, or going some other way. Oh my god. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Fire... fireballs. F fireballs! As you may have noticed, um, Twinson steers like a go-kart. He can only turn at a set rate. Which I have just recently figured is probably because... What the hell? Oh, what the hell? Where did that snake come from? Eat this snake! <laughs> We're not having a good time right now, aren't you? No. Good job kicking that snake's ass. God damn it! God damn it! Now watch out for his big brother <laughs> to come kick your ass. Oh, don't worry. Once he starts fighting, what the hell are those things supposed to be? Like beavers? <laughs> in case you're wondering, in the um. 14 years I've known Twinson, why I've never gone to play the, the original is because Hi there, Joe. Twinson Little Big Adventure 2 powers? allows you to save at any point, and fast. No thanks. The Seems original okay works now. off check a checkpoint save system, and you can actually see remnants of it through the game. These, er, over here, these S's are actually the save spots, the checkpoints you would have before. And if you see the Oni stream, you'll know just how bad checkpoints are when they're the only method of saving. See, the best part is, they haven't seen the levels where the checkpoint saving was absolutely horrid. Yeah, those are coming up. Oh no, the freaking beavers! Yeah, the that doesn't even look like a beaver! It's like a just super death badger. This thing scared the crap out of me when I was like eight. Yeah, that is really terrifying. Oh, trust me, when you're... When you're... Really young, things have a way of... Your Imagine has a way of making you shit yourself. <laughs> your Imagine. Here we go. Jumping puzzles. An isometric world? I love it. Yeah, it gets real bad in Temple of Boo later. Ugh. Yeah, also, your methods of combat in this game suck immeasurably. There are people with guns later on who will just straight up shoot you, but Twinson has to rely on his, his magic rubber ball, and, like, no targeting system. You have to just rotate, and a bunch of other equally mundane and seemingly useless items. Meanwhile, people with laser guns and swords and other things are just messing you up in every possible way. Well, it's because Twinson comes from a world that never experienced Doom. He's got magic. God yeah. damn, Crow! Everything in this world wants to kill me. Not everything. Well, especially this things. thing. In particular, this thing. You thought the other beaver was scary as, as a child. This thing was the stuff of nightmares. That spin was really goofy looking. Also, that... That badger's monster thing is kicking your ass. Get out of there, badger. Badger somebody else. It's a beaver. You're a Canadian. You're a disgrace <laughs> to Canada. It's a badger. Badgers are black and white. Uh, okay, fine. It is a beaver, but it's got a, a serious tail malformation. I need that health. Maybe it's a raccoon. Yeah, that would also be black and white. If you needed that health so bad, why'd you avoid it? I don't know. Until the last thing. Thank 
you, Mr. Twussy. I was rehearsing a new oh, tune with this filthy twirlu. <laughs> he's going to beat this game without healing. Besides, it looks like he's got others before me. Trollu, well, they're trollus. house, otherwise I'll get in hot water. Oh God, yeah, this guy. So now, see, to get the uh, the weather wizard to dispel the storm, I've actually had to make this detour and fight the super evil uh, beaver of death <laughs> in this cave here, which I can only assume is related to the bunny from Monty Python, and. Uh, you can actually see the remnants of the previous guy he's eaten. Oh, also, hello, wife. Twilson, what are you doing what in this cave doing? full of murderous bats and beavers you to take with care our poor child? And my lord is seeking adventures in the underground instead. It's beyond your control. You have to play the oh, hero. Yeah. She is extremely she chews you out. All right, Zoe. I'll take you back. Lest you think she is going to be a minor side note side character, no. Which I really also appreciate. Special stance. Yes. I do wonder how she got here, considering I had to jump over the freaking mountains. And even this way, it's a six part jumping puzzle. You just show them that this is a special stance. I can't, I'm so still in a cutscene. So monster, coming soon? Yes, the family will soon be lost. That's the most awkward way to put that. We are so happy, you know. One of it's us. Our first, and it should come any time now. You, it's funny because there are so many other, like, sort of eccentric voices in this. They're all kind of charming. But, but Twinson is the most oh, robotic the voice of them all. The lighthouse. He tells me that a true hero has just saved him from a voracious monster. I freed him! <laughs> Great! I'll go grab my stuff! He's not even putting emphasis on the I as if he did it. He's just, I freed him. Yeah, the special stance. Twinson with Zoe. And like I said, uh, the, the special action for this should have been like smooch with Zoe or like, you know, something like that. It'd be context sensitive. That would actually be really cool. It was just a missed opportunity. I know, but surprising so considering nice. the big brother thing. Yeah, I know, all the little attention to detail they put into the game. They couldn't pay attention to everything. Yeah. Although, honestly, my favorite special stance in the game is still Electric Skeleton Boogaloo. I can only hope I fall on that electric floor again in this playthrough. <laughs> I should also right. mention, this has a static camera. Would you have to do oh, yeah, yeah. constantly bash the camera resetting button? But yeah, I, I mentioned so earlier uh, how all the, every game we're playing in this preseason has had I terrible mean. camera controls, and the least terrible has been the one in Oni, because at least in that one I could use my mouse to direct where it's aiming. In Twinson, it's by far the worst. You have a button that, that recenters the camera behind you, and you must manually press it whenever you Basically, <laughs> if you want the camera to move at any point besides the point where you straight up walk off the screen, you have to manually reposition it behind yourself by hitting enter over and over and over and over. Also, shouldn't we check if we're properly recording? Uh, it's still recording. I can see it. Alright. Hope you're right. Won't need to read up what happened last time. So I've seen this cutscene twice. Yes, and then he raises the uh, the stone. And now the game is about to take a turn for the dark as it becomes XCOM. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the major plot point of the game. Get out of there, Badger. Badger somebody else. It's a beaver. You're a Canadian. You're a disgrace <laughs> to Canada. Have at the bats! What the 
hell? Oh, what the hell? Where'd that snake come? Eat this snake. God damn it. God damn it. God damn crow. Oh no, they're freaking beavers! 